Today on Reese Dixon, we are making this adorable, jokey tote bag. Hi everybody, it's Teresa with ReeseDixon.com and I'm back with another fantastic DIY gift idea for everybody on your Christmas list. I'm still tackling the guys, but again, this is really unisex but it's so awesome. You'll want one, everyone will want one, and the guys on your list will love it. So you can make something for them too. Okay, so what I've got here in front of me is just a plain white tote bag. I got mine at Joann's, I think it was $4. Um, you could thrift for something, you could sew something up. I mean, they're everywhere. But um, I just went with this because it was easy. And what we're going to do is put a stencil on it, okay? So I used a uh, scan and cut, a brother scan and cut, um, and it took like no time. I love that thing. And I paid for it with my own money. That's not an ad. Um, but you can also, I would do these, the same project before I had one, and to make your stencil, what you can do is print your image out on your computer and then use an X-Acto knife to cut it out. So here's what I've got. There's lots of little pieces I don't want to miss. Okay, so this is freezer paper. So I cut this image out on the freezer paper with the, you can see there's a, a dull side and a shiny side, and you want the shiny side down. So, and it has to be freezer paper. It can't be wax paper or parchment paper. It has to be freezer paper because what freezer paper is, is a paper that's got wax on one side. And so when you iron it, like I'm about to do, when you iron it in place, the wax melts, the fabric absorbs just enough of it to hold the stencil in place, but then once you're done, you can peel it right off and the fabric stays the same. So it's one of my very favorite techniques. I use this constantly, is freezer paper stencil techniques. So I, I've cut my, this is the outside of my frame, and I'm gonna iron this in place. And then what it's gonna say in the center is, ain't too proud to bag. <laughs> I thought that was really funny. <laughs> I chuckled at myself for a long time when I came up with that one. Uh, so, uh, cause I was, I was thinking about guys who have to carry a tote bag and how Jared, for example, won't. It's a messenger bag or it's nothing. <laughs> and we all have crap to carry around. So that's what kind of inspired this along with the, the Motown song and the R&B references. So I cut that out, um, just printing these fonts off my computer, and then cut that out with the X-Acto. And so I'll iron that in place, and then I've got all these little pieces here, all the centers of the, of the O's and the D's and the P's. Um, you'll need all of those little pieces to hang in there so that you can get the actual shape you want. You want the negative image that, of the stencil that you'll be making. So. Let me iron this all on and then we will um, we'll start to paint. Once you get your stencil on, then all you have to do is paint it. <laughs> One of the reasons I love this technique so much is it's so easy. So I picked out this dark navy and this dark coral color. And this is actually a really heavy canvas. So I'm not too worried about it bleeding through, but you might want to put a piece of cardboard on the inside just to make certain. So you can use a paintbrush to really get it down in there. I've got this little squeegee here that I'm going to use, just like I was screen printing, because that's basically what you're doing. Now I'm putting my coral over the letters. All right, so. I'm just gonna let this get good and dry and then I can peel off the stencil and then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side and then all I have to do is heat set it with an iron before I wash it and it'll be done. With the paint dry, I removed the paper stencil and then I just took my iron and went over the whole thing to heat set it so that when I need to wash this, I can just toss it right in the machine and that paint will be a lot sturdier than if I washed it without that. So now that paint won't go anywhere and my tote bag is done. And I think it is so cute. I love how it turned out. I think this is perfect for anybody. Cause like I said, we've all got crap to carry around, right? 
but I love it especially for guys who are so hard to make presents for that you can give them a little shout out that they are not too cool to save the environment and carry a bag around. I think it's hilarious. So anyway, I hope that this was inspiring and you'll try making your gifts this year. And if you have any questions, leave a comment and I will help you out. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of my great gift ideas. Help me out by sharing this video wherever you can and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.